Good morning guys, welcome to today. City guys are finally come and take down that, well, take away the rest of the trees that the hydro guys left a big mess in the corner of our field. So now they're going to take all the brush away. Hi Penny! All the horses are having their breakfast. They're feeding breakfast in the barn before they go out. And then whatever's left over, you can have for afternoon snack, right? Look, everybody's in the barn even. Cozy the pig. Join their breakfast before they go out in the field. The gates are actually open for the field right now, but they have their breakfast before they go out there. They're down there working away, cutting everything. Just gonna wait till they come on this side of the fence to clean up the rest. Just for safety, I'm gonna close up this field for now. Just in case they need to bring a tractor in because there's some big branches down there. Here comes Posey Pig. <laughs> she hears all the noise. Plus she sees me and she's like, I'm coming, I'm coming. I asked the guys, I said, you guys aren't afraid of horses, are you? And they're like, no. I said, are you afraid of a pig? Because there's a friendly pig that'll come up to you here. And here's the friendly pig. Hi, Posey. I'm gonna get you another pool and put it in the goat area, okay? It's my job for today. All right, they're cutting up that tree now. You know what's funny is that they said the hydro cut it down, even though they threw everything on our side of the fence. It's our responsibility to get it cut. And I said, what? It doesn't make no sense. Why would they cut a tree down, almost break the fence, and now I have to clean up their mess? So, convinced the city people to, to do it, and they said they would do it. I told them to keep the logs, but I'll keep the logs, get rid of them, make them more manageable, just cut them up for me, and then I'll split them and stuff. But yeah, they're just getting rid of it, and then they're making a big, big uh, wood chip pile that I'll have to move. I told them as long as they put it against the fence, then I can work with it rather than spread it around the yard. I don't want it in the horse field, so. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. Daisy says good morning. I don't know how much Shem has videoed or what he's said, but basically, you guys remember when a tree fell down in a, in a bad storm on our property and it crashed into our horse field, we were worried we weren't gonna be able to put our horses out. We were able to find somebody to come and take away all the wood that fell and then later the city came to fix it because it was on the city's property and when they got here they cut down the tree again they cut more of the tree down and more of it fell into our property so they came back today to take away that stuff and the stuff that was in our property was huge and the guy told them oh we're not supposed to take away the stuff that's on your property and sam said well you're taking away the stuff that's on the neighbor's property I think it was just because it was so big and they didn't weren't really prepared to like handle that stuff. They ended up mulching it all up. So now we have all of these little shavings, wood shavings that we can put in our anywhere we want on our property. And I love that. I love that a tree that's been here for its whole life is now going to be able to serve this property and we can put it in our gardens. We can use it as long as it's not a certain kind of wood. We can use it in our horse fields to absorb mud. We can use it for anything. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited about that. Update on our little chicken, Mia, that lives with the goats that Sylvie and I love. Oh, she ran off. She comes up every day. Ellie. And she hangs out outside the chickens, but with the chickens. She comes up here and she eats and she drinks and she takes care of herself during the day. And then she heads right back down to the goat barn if she thinks that there's a threat. She doesn't like roosters. Roosters are not her friend. I, I don't blame her. Why is everybody inside today? That's the hey? that was out. Which one, this one right here? The small one. Oh, oh, it was outside? Yeah. The little guy went out. <laughs> He's like, what's happening? So last night when the chickens, our new chickens were outside yesterday, some of them and the ducks. Oh, last night they did not you come back in. And so Sophie and Sam had to go out there, collect them and bring them in for the night. So hopefully 
they'll get the idea that they have to go in. The ducks are outside again. The duck, all of them are outside? I think so. So, I wanted to tell you guys, I keep getting messages from people like, the ducks need a pond. Ducks absolutely need a different kind of water source. They need a water source big enough to dip their entire bill in to keep it clean. So, we give them that, and we give them that in their brooder, and a brooder is where baby ducks go. So, they get that while they're growing big enough to go in with the rest of the flock, and they get it while they're big and growing big enough to go outside for the first time unsupervised. So they get that and then when they go outside, we have three pools on our property. One for the ducks, one for each pig, and the ducks can even access posies. Um, a little pool. So they have two pools that they can use and they go into it. Look at how cool this chicken is. She's like mostly black. She's that a cross between that neat breed that's all black. I want the black ducks that lay black eggs. It's not gonna be fun when that big turkey's jumping on me. When that turkey gets big and she starts jumping on me, it's not gonna be fun. <laughs> Still finding treasures on this farm. Oh, that is actually whew, really neat. It's a dragonfly. Yeah. Dragonflies are really special. Anyway, I think I'm gonna clean this and then we'll hang it up maybe on the front porch. Ellie, don't you chase anything. Hi, oh, baby! Oh my gosh, look. As we speak. Cool. Toad is showing the ducks the pool right now. Look at Posey and Ellie. I know, Posey and Ellie are obsessed with one another. Oh, and here come the duck. Hi, Pose. Hi, Toad. Oh, you got a little cut. Oh, no. I'll get some cream and bring that out for you, okay? Yeah. Oh, you can never, whoops. You can never pet a pig for very long. This mud here, this dirt, is from her being in her pool and then laying in the dirt after. That's what she likes to do. It's a piggy thing, huh? Sophie's trying to... If you come near me, I'm kicking you all across the world, so... <laughs> She's joking. I don't care if you die. Sophie's, you die. Sophie just walked toward that chicken to tell that she's the boss of him. And then he went towards her and she froze. And then she called Ellie. Ellie, come and save me. They don't actually like they don't actually hurt you. It's just a jump scare. I trust you, Penguin. <laughs> You're trustworthy. He's a good rooster, not him. I know. He's a little brown. But I love that our little pig feels so comfortable with the roosters and with the chickens. Boy can't you talk to me? What I want the most in my life They say you're out of my league But I don't give a damn No, deep down I know you want it You wanna take a leap and jump in Oh, oh, oh You wanna fall in love You get me spinning Wouldn't it be awesome If you just kissed me slowly And had me in your arms Run! <laughs> Come on, Ellie! My van just got back, you guys. You might not have known, but he, she was in for repairs. It's time for me to get a new van. She's starting to break down. For the first, like, five years we had her, she was never breaking down. Sam's truck was in the shop, and it came back last week. I saw a comment where someone said that there's no way that those turkeys are going in our belly. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I need to have, like, enough turkeys that some are close to me and some are not. <laughs> because I can't eat my turkeys. But the plan is to keep those turkeys and grow them so that they lay eggs so that we can have turkeys, more turkeys. And those turkeys are going in my belly. <laughs> but the ones we have now, no way. Like that little girl, oh, she, the one that jumps on me, she sees me and she runs to me and is on my lap so fast. Like, I just love her. It seems like we've just been out here in the chicken area this whole day, but we haven't. I actually had a little nap. <laughs> now that the horses are far in the back, we don't see them as much. We don't see them as much during the day. For all the people worried about our ducks, they're all, they're just tiny ducks and they're all in that pool and they're all just swimming around. <laughs> they use the ramp. Yeah. We have a little ramp on the other side that the chicken is standing on.
And the chickens are using this. They're getting it all poopy. Penny's back to her old tricks, just doing her own thing. It's actually a long walk. This property keeps us in shape. All right, we're not in good shape, but it keeps us in shape. Hi, babies. So uh, this property, this field goes all the way up to the top of that hill. Yes. And that's where Sophie was cantering, galloping the other yeah, day. It just drops off right there. Yeah, it just drops off. Hopefully we have about a month's worth of grass out here. Hi, Storm. Hi, baby boy. With the pink fly mask on. Gabby likes him in pink. Sam switches them up, he says. <laughs> Ellie. I don't like Ellie going behind the horses. Hi, huh, baby. Hi, huh, ladybug. Someone said a ladybug, ladybugs in where they live are considered good luck. And actually, they are considered good luck. I think she's a good luck girl. <laughs> oh, gosh. The reason I'm laughing is because that little mini likes to chase my dog. And my doggy, my dog knows. But anyway, that's the tree. This is the leftover wood. So, Sam will have to... Oh, he's fixing the fence now, that's good. Sam will have to drag these poles up. We'll have to drag them up. There's a couple that are really big. I don't know if we'd be able to get them. Oh, it's hot. So this is where, oh, there's Ellie. She's like, save me, Wood. <laughs> Sophie is strong. You are strong, though. Hi. I like to hate catching Wood. I love that the horses have to come so far. Like, I love that they, every time I look out here, there's someplace new. So they're in this field, or they're like way up there at the top of that hill. That's what keeps them in shape too. They're like, this whole property, can you guys see from here all the way up? It just goes up. I'm sure if Penny hasn't played in that yet. Yeah, so this is the wood chips. I thought it was gonna be like a giant pile, but they're cool. So I can use this. I think I'm gonna use it in my garden because I have one garden that I don't wanna like maintain this year and I'm having to dig out all the weeds all the time. I need something to put in it. It's nice. They left the junk here? Oh my gosh. What the? Broke. They left the thing. the thing. See, they broke the machine. That's why they couldn't finish. And they left it in the field with horses? <laughs> Wait! Oh, Sam got them. He's like, hey dude. Maybe they're looking for it. All the horses are like, yeah, who's that guy? Let's just talk to him. They're all interested. Is there any more they love us being in their field. Anyway, they broke their machine, their chipper, uh, chipping all that wood. And then when they left, they left it in here. Thank goodness Sam found it. That would have hurt our horses for sure. And then uh, the guy was, another guy was driving by and Sam was able to give it to him. He says that, he said, it's maple, that's maple wood. Maple tree. Maple tree. It's not gonna hurt our horses. But anyways, the guy said, surprising they didn't miss that. Oh no, Honey loves anything. Like, she's like lady. Do you like her personality? Honey? Yeah. Yeah, she's very sassy though. She is sassy, but you know what? <laughs> I don't think lady loves horses, or dogs, I mean. She loves playing with, in the woods. Like she, she Come here, Ellie. Look at her, she's like. Come here. Her. Ellie, come on. I can't believe that. <laughs> Look who she listens to. I know, she listened to you. I heard that. But do you see how when we come in here, the horses come near us? Except for my horse, who's like way over there. They all ran up to us once the guy came. When the first people came to take away all the wood that fell, so chop it up and, and make it into firewood, and they took it, the people that came, that Sam got, um, they were in the field. I don't know if I told you that. They were in the field and all of a sudden came this little piggy wiggling her way all the way down right into them. Like she just kind of trots and <laughs> her whole body wiggles. And she came down and they were in love with her because she's just, she loves, never met a stranger that pig. She never ever met a stranger. Everybody is a friend to her. I love that. That's like my favorite personality. Just like honey's like that, ladies like that, Ellie's like that. Those are the kind of energy that I like connect with. And Molly loves kids over everybody. I can hear her stomping. <laughs> yeah. You're not sneaking up on anybody, lady. 
The whole ground <laughs> vibrates. She's like, where are we going, guys? <laughs> she loves Gabby. Well, here comes Gracie. Oh, here uh -oh. comes everyone. Uh-oh. Jesus, the wings. Jeez. <laughs> They're like dogs. Our herds are like dogs. Rocks are important in the field. <laughs> what? Rock. Yeah, that's why rocks are important, and that's what I did. But what scares me is like when a horse comes galloping, I'm like, they're not gonna run into you most of the time. That's what I was thinking of the storm, and then he ran straight. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So I'm like, okay, logically they're not gonna run me down, but I get so scared that I run, and then I think has mastered the art of psyching you out. <laughs> yeah. When you move, when you're in a, her a herd of galloping horses, like, and you move, right there. I was like, you don't know if yeah. they're thinking that they're gonna move to swerve to avoid you, so you don't know if you're running in their like path. We're playing a game of chicken. Oh, yeah, it's oh, a I game of chicken jumping. every time. I was jumping to the side because like, okay, well he's gonna go straight into me. Look at how pretty. And then he jumps to the side too. <laughs> Penny, they all came up to be with you. Yeah, Penny and Willow are introverts. He missed all the action down there. We talked to a guy, a strange boy. Yeah. We could ha use that little bit of stuff for like our wet areas in our field, but there's not a ton of it. And like, honestly, Sam will scrape this again before the end of the season, before the wet season starts, but there's not a lot of dirt here. It only gets bad like right in this area here and on the other side. And it doesn't even get that bad. Don't you know that